challenging yourself and the people around you to push through 12 weeks of intensive military training on Paris Island may be difficult, especially if you can't see your yeah, loved ones. Yeah, that sounds like tough. Now, yeah. one recruit from Middle Georgia knows exactly what that's like. 41 NBC's Taylor Terrell was at Paris Island for Family Day, the first time Jordan Harrison has seen his family in months. Wow. One by one. For 12 weeks straight, these recruits, soon to be Marines, endured a number of physical, mental, and morale training exercises to prepare them for what's ahead. They had no family, friends, or loved ones to visit, just each other for motivation. Millersville recruit Jordan Harrison expects to graduate this week. It's been months since he last saw his family. How is it seeing your family for the first time in a very long time? It's good. I'm trying to fight back the tears now, but <laughs> trying to keep my bearing. So, yeah, it's, it's good. The tears poured. It's been an overwhelming day for the family because they understand it wasn't easy for Harrison to make it this far. We saw the hard work and the many hours he studied and, you know, the dedication that he really wanted this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. For Harrison and hundreds of other recruits, basic training will only be the start of their military career. I'm glad to see the, the ones that are here today. Is eight deals right here every step of the way. So congratulations to them being a United States Marine and best of luck. We're so proud of him. Yeah, we're so proud of him. This is something he's always wanted. We're just really proud of him. And the core values of the Marines, honor, courage, and commitment are the things that make them who they are. Reporting in Beaufort, South Carolina, Taylor Terrell, 41 NBC News. During the end of the week, Harrison endured the Crucible mission, which is the final mission all recruits have to pass before the Marine induction ceremony.